um, I'm going to show you the correct way to do a blow dry. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, before we even start, let me just show you the tools that I'm going to be using for the blow dry. Now the hairdryer that I typically use on a day to day, it's called a Speed Freak made by Rusk and I always recommend using the nozzle when you're doing blow dryers. It helps a lot and it makes a big difference. Now my go to round brush is always going to be the Aquage Ball Bristle Round Brush. They're amazing and they glide through the hair. I would always recommend this brush to anyone that walks in or sits in my chair. Okay, before I start, I'm going to put some product in her hair. I'm going to use a Super Skinny Serum by Paul Mitchell. And I'm going to make sure it's covered all the way through the hair before we even turn on the hairdryer. Okay, to do a round brush, I typically always start at the very bottom of the head, the very nape. I always take my sections. You can see here, sectioning off the top. So with that nozzle on my hairdryer, I can dry that section and not have to worry about already starting to dry the other sections so I can just focus on that bottom section first. So you can see here a lot of tension on the brush pulling it in every direction possible but one thing I want you to make sure make note of is that the hairdryer is not sitting on the hair it's about two to three inches away from the hair I see this all the time where people actually sit the nozzle right on the hair which just burns the hair shaft so you can see here I'm actually using the hairdryer to help direct it but pulling it in every direction possible my hands never stop moving when I'm blow drying. You can see this taking my next section, just over directing it up and under, making sure we get a little bit of lift to it when we're blow drying. Again, you can see right here that the hair dryer is about three to four inches away from the hair. It's not sitting on the hair. So it's very important. I see people make this mistake all the time where they actually sit the nozzle on top of the hair. It's ridiculous. You're just burning the hair. It's too hot. So another little point I want to make here is that you can always see the hairdryer is facing away from the client. I'm never actually directing it on her scalp because you don't want to burn her scalp. So the hairdryer is typically facing away from the scalp. So moving on to the side section, you can see here there's a still a lot of tension on the brush, but I'm drying it in every direction possible, up and under. I just want to get a little bit of movement in there. So now typically what I do after I finish blow drying to get a little bit of product on the hair, I don't put the hairspray directly on the hair. I use the hair dryer. Um, basically the way I do it is I blow the hairspray up or just above the head and I use the hair dryer to direct it, just giving it a little bit of mist because I don't want to put it directly on the hair. I don't want to put too much on the hair. I still want to be able to run my hands through there and see the shape that I've blow dried it into. So you can see here I'm just finishing up before I grab the hairspray. I'm going to put a little bit a spray in the air and use the hairdryer to direct it down onto the hair just to close the cuticle a little bit um, get rid of those flyaways just give it, so we can keep that little bit of movement in the hair so if this video has helped you in any way possible let me know in the comments down below don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you like my content hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload it's very important that you hit the bell notification so you get to see all the videos that I upload so I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed doing it. I think the blow dry turned out awesome. She's got great hair and it was a great end result.